Good morning, gentlemen. JK, your brother, in the struggle here on my way back from the gym. Today, I want to briefly talk about this concept of recommitment. Recommitment. I see quite a few brothers putting up posts in the group, in the comments of our social media, saying that they recommit to their reboot. And the first thing I want to do is start off by giving my definition of commitment. You don't have to follow it, okay? So you can have whatever definition you want. But this is what I use to control my sexual behavior. And commitment is doing the thing you said you were going to do long after the emotion when you originally made that decision has passed. Doing the thing you said you were going to do long after all those wonderful, strong, determined emotions that you made when you made the decision that you experienced when you had the decision long after they've passed when not even a single one is left. So if we go by this definition, that would mean that your reboot should continue even if you no longer experience those emotions, even if you feel apathetic, even if you feel bored, even if you feel hopeless, even if you feel that there's no hope, but I don't think I can even do this. Right? Even if you feel lost, even if you feel overwhelmed by all the things going on in life to the point that you're not even able to put aside time or dedicate time to your reboot, it means that you should still continue. The problem that I have with recommitting, gentlemen, is that each time you recommit, you are building up the habit of summoning up all these very strong emotions again to begin your reboot. That's my first problem because you end up building a habit pattern of needing very strong motivational emotions in order to reboot. So when all the emotions are gone, it subconsciously becomes an excuse for you to slip. So you end up slipping and then relapsing. Then you're like, all right, cool, let's recommit. Let's get all the emotions again. You know why you're recommitting? You're recommitting because you think that you need to be motivated. You need to be seeing good results. You need to feel good about your reboots. You need to have a very strong determination to quit porn all the time throughout your reboots. And gentlemen, that is not the case. The reality is as human beings, our emotions fluctuate. And all you can do when you begin the process of rebooting is use those initial emotions when you commit as a boost to get you started, to build up the right habits, to get accountability partners, to clean house, to set up the right boundaries. That's all you can do. And then you have to maintain that long enough for them to become habits in your life. Are you guys with me? So that's one of the big problems that I have with recommitting. The second problem, there are only two problems I have actually. <laughs> the second problem that I have with it is that with this concept of recommitting comes the idea that you have to start your reboot from the beginning and with it comes the risk of counting. And you may tell yourself, especially those who are watching this, who are in our coaching programs that, no, 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 actually I'm not starting from the beginning because I use the tools. You know, I use the masturbation checklist. I use all the other things. So I'm not starting from the beginning, but you have marked a point. Each time you say you recommit, it's a very powerful word. And it's a very powerful thing in an emotional timeline. I recommit, I recommit, I recommit, I recommit. Yeah, sure. You recommitted in January. Then you recommitted in March. Then you recommitted in June. Some of you recommit every two weeks. You don't even know that because you're a victim of what we call addict time, right? But I won't go into that today. And that's the problem. You're recommitting, but you don't even know that you're shooting yourself in the foot because, gentlemen, your mind is keeping track of every time you recommit and it wants to protect you. Eventually, it's going to start sending you the message that, bro, is this really worth it? You're making me, your unconscious mind, have to gather up so much emotional resources every couple of weeks just to do this thing again. And that's where hopelessness comes in. 
because you are wasting a lot of emotional energy. That's the message your unconscious mind is going to give you. Dude, you're wasting this energy because I know your pattern. You're going to slip, you're gonna relapse. So is it really worth it for me to do this? Remember your unconscious mind, or if you don't remember, know now, that your unconscious mind always wants to protect you. It wants to protect you from more pain. And that's my big second problem with this is that you hurt yourself in the long run. I don't want to see you guys doing this, hurting yourselves and constantly recommitting. So what's the solution? The solution is quite simple. Stop recommitting. You didn't fall off the cart. You're not getting back on the train. You're not getting back on the horse. There's no horse. There's no fucking wagon. There's no train, right? It is in the nature of of the reboot process and of any other process, any other process that is getting you from one point to the other, especially when it is some sort of transformation, it is quite natural for you to veer off the path and come back and veer off the path and come back. So stop seeing veering off the path, a very natural thing as this big deal that you oh i'm lost i feel bad i invested in this my emotions i'm not committed i'm apathetic it's normal it's part of the process i know other systems are like oh you fell off the wagon you know get back on the track all these things other programs do not have the success rate we have other programs do not have men permanently ending their behavior in short amounts of time follow the system gentlemen going off is part of it, just come back, right? I know there's a very, very strong instinct to recommit, but even if you do so, try and tell yourself that it's not recommitting, that this is just part of the process so that your unconscious mind does not wipe the slate clean because your unconscious mind is gonna wipe out all those wonderful wins that you had for the past couple of months. And it's gonna be like, yeah, let's recommit, wipe it all out. Well, where's your self-esteem? Where are all the wins that you use to bolster your self-esteem? They're gone. All because of this recommitment, which makes you feel good for a short amount of time, but it's a very bad habit to build. I hope I've made my points. I wanna see you guys win. I wanna see you guys control your behavior. That's the purpose of all of this. So I hope somebody got something from this message. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you later on in the week. Take care. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Pawn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. The second way is to get a copy of the free book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. You'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I've learned over a decade, as well as strategies for putting together your porn reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video. The third way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners, guys who work in sales, consulting, or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join in the description below this video. And finally, if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, you want to be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving, click on the link in the description below this video that says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book a call.